What's good, South Jersey? I'm Isaiah Showell, and I'm standing here in Millville on High Street to be exact because I'm waiting for the Riverfront Renaissance to open. I hear some of South Jersey's top tier artists have their work on display right at the Riverfront Renaissance, and I can't wait to go feast my eyes on some great artwork. It's definitely what's good in South Jersey this week. Mr. Ty Lewis is a featured artist at the Riverfront Renaissance, and this is actually, believe it or not, his first time having his work featured in a gallery. In large part, I'm a self-taught artist, and this is probably three years in the making, and um, to be offered an opportunity to be in a gallery like this at such an early stage of my artistry is just a huge blessing. So this is the first one, and um, it's being received really well, so I'm excited. <laughs> Mr. Lewis received his AA in studio art at Atlantic Cape Community College, and it was there he was encouraged by his professor to go public with his paintings. For me, when I create art, it's so to attach to me, you know what I mean? It's, it's my heart, it's my feelings, it's my soul, and so it's hard to let them go. But when I realize that, like, it's greater than me, it's you know the stories that I that I tell through the art or whatever, it's for someone else. It's not just for me. For example, in his painting called Sunrest, Mr. Lewis paints about when God tells you to rest, and when you make the decision to totally be naked and vulnerable before your God, simultaneously creating a place of intimacy with Him. It's really um, a vision first. God gives me the vision for it first. And then I create, and then I go into praying because I'm like, God, you want me to paint that? You want me to create this? I just stay focused on the vision and uh, really try to bring that story across because I want someone else to see themselves in the art and feel heard and feel seen and feel represented. Advocacy is something very close to Mr. Lewis's heart, and he tries his best to convey that in his paintings, which will be available to the end of March at the Riverfront Renaissance. I want to advocate you know in my art so when people see a piece I want them to feel like okay we have to talk about this we have to engage with this we have to make sure we get to some solutions you know what I mean some resolve you know what I mean we have to use our voices you know what I mean so I, I just wanted to cause conversation Miss Sherry Lewis Ty's wife speaks on how her husband's artwork comes from an authentic place and he gets inspired even in his daily routine I think his legacy is it's three things three words about him activist advocate and advisor because Ty does all those things and all that shows through his work and that's what inspires him to create the pieces. The young people that he helps out on a day-to-day -day basis when he comes home from work sometimes I see him you know he'll decompress he'll breathe he'll relax to turn on some music and then that sets the vibe and then he'll start painting off of what he's experienced in that day or just in his life. Several people came out to support Mr. Lewis in his first art gallery, including Mr. Christian Ragland, who has known Mr. Lewis since high school. I think what I want for him in the future is for this to be a platform for him to take off into something bigger, so that not only that it meets his passionate desires, but he becomes a forerunner for the arts, for people in general, right, for humanity. Because I think art is a, another gateway into expressing, you know, your deepest desires and your passion, and so I think He's leading the example by being his authentic self. I'm really, really proud of Ty. I mean, he does so many wonderful things. And um, I've seen his artwork um, you know, at different places where he posts and stuff. So I would tell him, and he would know what this means, I would tell him to look at himself. And then I would tell him, I'm super proud. Just keep going and doing what you do. Ty represents what I represent, helping the community really stand true to themselves. Um, you know, really pushing a culture of, of integrity you know his paintings they speak emotion they speak life they speak everything that men feel black men feel that i don't feel like is expressed consistently family members also made an appearance for mr lewis i got to watch him work with kids and him like put his appreciation for art and music onto them and how they accepted it so i just knew that he was going to do great things just from how he was able to pour it into other people to see his progression is amazing he has really worked very hard i've watched him stay up hours and hours painting um, and most importantly, the thought and, um, that has gone into his work. Also, his pain, his happiness. To watch all the emotions in his art is really, has really developed and I love it. I love, I love it. Love it. A lot of us have to try to be creative or force ourselves to be creative. But you know, God has given him a talent and he just uses it the right way to express uh, his emotions, others' emotions. And uh, I'm, just, I'm just really proud of him. He hasn't given up, uh, he never has, and he puts in the work, puts in the work. 
I don't know if he's ever mentioned, but in fifth grade he wrote a whole play and they actually done it at the school. So that was just the beginning of many great things that he has done. We're just very proud of him and excited to see how far he'll go. Go to artbytylewis.com to purchase some of the artwork from Mr. Lewis and also get a glimpse into the creative mind of Mr. Ty Lewis. In Millville, I'm Isaiah Showell and that's what's good in South Jersey.